Namaste students, myself Sunil Kumar from the Department of Computer Science. Today we are moving to the next session based on the chapter Problem Solving Methodology. We are discussing about the first piece of topics here that is Problem Solving Methodology. We already finished with the different programming constraints. And then we discussed that if you take the programming constraint, there are mainly three types of programming constraints are available. One is sequential statements, one more is you can say there is a selection statement and last one that is looping statements or you can say iterative constraints. So already we finished with the sequential and also the selection, different types of selection statements also we finished. And in last session we started with the iterative statements, iterative statements. There are three, two types of iterative statements are there. One is conditional construct and one more is unconditional construct. So in that unconditional construct, the first what we discussed is while loop. While and do while is example for conditional construct. And one more example you can take one more thing that is unconditional that is for statement. So that we discussed already, we discussed about the while statement, how while loop is working or how while construct is working. Means first the control is going to check the test condition. Whenever test condition is given means first control is going to check the test condition. If the test condition is true or if you take the, take the test condition, either the condition may be true or may be the false. Only two output we are getting, either true or false. Whenever if you got the output as true or the condition is true means we will execute the remaining statements. After executing the statement, once again control is going back to check the condition. So this will be repeated. And this will be repeated until the condition became false. That is what we discussed in the previous session. And remember the while loop is entry control loop or we can say pre-tested loop. Before entering inside the loop, the control if you want the control wants to enter inside the loop means before entering the loop the condition should be satisfied. Whenever the condition should be satisfied, then the data or we can say the control can be entered inside. Otherwise, it is not possible to control it inside. So that is we can say that conditional looping or while loop. The next conditional looping is do while. In this session, we are mainly discussing about conditional looping do while and also the for statement. So next we will move the do while. The do while statement is known as post tested looping structure. It is known as post tested looping structure. Means the difference is while and do while. Okay, take the while and do while. While is pre tested, do while is a post tested. Means what? Post tested means. is also known as exit control or entry control. This is known as exit control. Because in case of do while structure, there is two keywords there is one in the while keyword, one more is do keyword. In that condition, what we are checking that is at the end of the structure. We can say at the end of the looping structure, we are going to check the condition. First, it will execute the loop data. After that, we will check the condition. If condition is satisfied, once again we will check the decondition. And once again, we will execute the statement. So that will be repeated. That is actually known as exit control looping structure, or we can say that is post tested looping structure. Here, it check the condition at the end of the structure. And mainly, we check the condition at the end of the structure. Okay? When first statements are executed, then check the condition. In case of while, first check the condition, then statements are executed. There is a difference. While and do while. Difference is the main thing. In case of while, listen properly. In case of while statement, the first condition is tested. First condition is tested, then statements are going to execute. That is in case of while. If you take the do while, if you are going to take the do while, first it will execute the statements. First it is going to execute the statement. Later on it is going to check the condition. So first statements are executed. After that we are going to check the condition. That is in case of do while looping. So what is the general format for do while looping? How we can get the general format? So if you want to use the general format, if you want to use a do while, first you have to write the do, the keyword. Do is the keyword. Now to use one word that is do. Then you can write the statements. Statement. Statement 1. You can write statement 2. Like that. You can write 10 number of statements. So that I can write statement. Yeah. So n number of statements. After that, we are going to check why test condition. This is the structure or general format of do while construct. I'm not explaining based on the programming, I'm just explaining based on the construct. So in case of do while statement, this we can write first to write do. 
then statement what the statement here after right by test condition after right dot check the test conditions this is in case of do by statement the first control is written inside execute the statement after that the control is going to check the condition first control is going to execute all the statements all the statements are executed after executing the statement next we will check the control is going to check the test condition if the condition is true then we will have to check the condition get either true or false so if the condition is true once again going back and execute the from start from do starting from do we execute all the statements starting from do all the statements are executed then after executing the statement once again condition is tested once again the condition is tested if the condition is true once again statements are going to execute if the conditions are true then once again statements are going to execute so this will be repeated so like same as why no need but difference here is in case of why first test condition then body of the loop or it is a statements but here is not like that first statements are executed after that we will check the test conditions after checking the test conditions we will repeat repeating everything is same how many times it will repeat or how many times the statement are going to execute until the test condition became false until the test condition became false the statements are going to repeat again and again whenever the test condition is false means control is going to move out of the loop control is going to move out from the loop structure that is in case of do while that was happened then we will write the flow chart how we can write the flow chart for this one how we can write the flow chart the flow chart normally start from here and take like this and take like this then first here do there is no statement or structure for do then statement one to statement then so statements we can write as a normal procedure normal procedure i can write the statements so write the statement in the form of normal procedure so statement one statement two like that statement yeah so n number of statements you can write so that will be box equal to so that creating the rectangle box so that we can have a wish because sometimes it is square or it is rectangle like that so that is box this is the statements first first control will execute the statements after executing the statement after executing the statements then the control is going to check the test condition after that control is going to check the test conditions so test condition is condition we check the condition is condition whenever the condition is true if we check the condition we will get two or two that is true or false i write the true here and false here we will get the two conditions true or false any side of the here this side also can get the true or this side this any other side you can get the true or false but you should get the two or two one is true and one is false when your condition is true then once again the body of the loop will be executed means arrow is given back arrow is given back so once again body of the loop will be executed when our condition is false then we will skip the or come out from the loop so this is the do while loop in case of do while loop the first control is going to check the execute the statements the first control is going to execute the statements How many number of statements also we don't know. Sometimes only one statement will be there, or sometimes n number of statement will be there. So I wrote statement one to statement n. So that all the statements are executed first. First, we execute all the statements. After executing all the statements, next check the condition. After that, we will check the condition. If the condition is true, after checking the condition, we will get two output, either true or false. So if the condition is true, if the condition is true. Once again, going to check the condition. Once again, going to check execute the statements. Arrow is given back. So once again, I'm going to execute the statements. Once again, going to execute the statements. After executing the statement, after executing the statement, once again, I check condition will be tested. Because like after that, different conditions are there. If the condition is true, once again executed. Next, check the condition executed. Like that, will be repeated until the test condition becomes false. Whenever the condition is false, whenever the condition became false, means then the control will move out from the loop. Control will move out from the looping structure. That is about the do while looping. See, this is the just a format, this is syntax. Then we will see the one example. We can see one example now. 
So how we can write the examples? So I'll write n is equal to 5. n is equal to 5. Value of n is given as 5. Then I use 2. Then I'll write the code. Then print n. So I'll take the 0. Dot. I'll take 0 as a vector. So print n. n will be printed. Then after that, n is equal to n plus 1. We don't know how to write n. So n is equal to n plus 1. Next we are going to check the condition. While n should be greater than 0. n should be greater than 0. And should be greater than 5. Which is change that one. Less than 5. And should be less than 5. Check that I'll change the condition. And should be less than 5. So this is a one example. And then I use a semicolon. Semicolon. That is because later you are going to study the syntax of the program language. At that time I'll explain how to write three in that one. So here that is just an example. That example, something I missed because I was not required. Semicolon set of that we are going to study later. When you are going to study introduction to C++, in that time you will study how to write the statements. So that I am going to explain here. That is not required. That later on, in upcoming chapters, we are going to discuss how to write the statements based on the programming language. But here you have to understand what is the do by looping structure. How it is executed. The first, n value will be 0. First, we are assigning n value is equal to 0. n will be 0 now. Then, do we are going to print print here? What is the value of n? Value of n will be 0 is printed. After that, n is equal to n plus 1. So, right side value will be assigned to left side, not left side to right side. So, right side value, what is n? n is 0 plus 1. So, n plus 1 is 1. 1 is assigned to n. So, n value, that is means n value is going to change. n is equal to n plus 1 means right side values, print the left side and right hand side. The right hand side values are going to assign to left hand side. LHS is going to assign, right, RHS is going to assign to LHS. Right hand side values are assigned to left hand side normally in case of computer language. So n value is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 is assigned to L. 1 is assigned to L. So n value is 1. So 1 is less than 1. Next we will check the condition. Next we will check the condition. After checking the condition, whether n is less than 5? Yes. Because n value is 1, 1 is less than 5. 1 is less than 5. Condition is true. Whenever condition is true means once again control is going to execute from do. Control moving back. So here, see arrow can see. Once again control is moving back. Whenever condition is true. Whenever control is moving back. From the do, where we wrote the do, from that we are going to repeat. Not previous steps. Previous steps are not going to repeat. Where you wrote the do, from that is going to repeat. So next print here. So print here, then we are using 1. So 1 is printed. 1 is going to print. After printing n, then n is equal to n plus 1. n is equal to n plus 1 means 1 plus 1, that will be 2. n value is 2 now. n value will be 2. Whenever the value of n is 2 means, then here, whenever value of n is 2, then we are going to compare. 2 less than 5 or n less than 5 means we write 2. Whether 2 is less than 5, 2 is less than 5, so condition is true. Condition is true or false? Condition is true. Whenever the condition is true means, once again going back, from starting from 2, going to print. So value print n. Yeah. So 2 will be printed. Yeah, value of n will be 2. So 2 is going to print. After printing the 2, next value, what is the next step? Next step, once again, we are going to n is equal to n plus 1. And value of n will be incremented. Value of n is going to increment. So it will be n is equal to n plus 1. When of n is 2, already 2, 2 plus 1, that will be 3. n is n is equal to n plus, leave n, n is equal to n plus 1. What is the value of n plus 1? n value will be 2, 2 plus 1, that is 3. 3 is assigned to s Like this, going to assign. n value is 2. This is not the right hand side. See the right hand side. That n value is given as 2. n value is given as 2. Plus 1. 2 plus 1, that will be 3. It will, as, it will calculate right hand side. Then is going to assign to left hand side. 3 will be assigned to n. 3 will be assigned to n. So n value value now will be 3. Now n value will be 3. After that, 
once again, we are going to check whether 3 is less than 5. 3 is less than 5. Condition is true. 3 is less than 5. Then once again, we have 2 is the same as once again, we are going back. Once again, we are moving back. Once again, we are going to execute the statements. After that, we are going to execute the statement once again. Then here, once again, execute the print PI. So print PI means what is the value of n? n is now 3. So 3 is going to print. 3 is going to print. So after that, after that, next one, next one, n is equal to n plus 1. So what is the value of n? n is 3, 3 plus 1 is a 4. So now value of n will be changed into 4. After this statement, once again we are going to check the condition. While 4 is greater than 5 means, 4 is less than 5, 4 means n, n means value will be 4 now. So n less than 5, the condition is true. N is less than 5, so the condition is true. So when whenever n is less than 5 means once again condition is true, once again control will move back. Look here, once again we will execute the statements. The statement print n is equal. So 4 value of n will be 4, value of n will be 4. So it is going to print the value of n. After printing the value of n, n is equal to n plus 1. Normally, not the steps. n is equal to n plus 1. So what is the value of n? n will be 4 now. 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1. Will be 5. So n value will be 5. Whenever n value will be 5, then after that we are going to check the condition whether 5 is less than 5, n less than 5, 5 is not less than 5. 5 is not less than 5 because 5 is equal to 5. 5 is equal to 5. So this condition is failed. This condition is failed. Whenever condition is failed, means control is moving out. Then suggest this case is not there. Yes, all right. Control is moving out from the loop. Control is moving out from the notebook structure. This is the example of the do while notebook. So, what we discuss here is example, simple example in that how we are going to repeat the statements. Here we discussed about the do while notebook constructs. You remember, there are mainly two types of conditions uh, construct. One is while and one more is do while. Remember here that main difference between the while and do while. In case of while looping, First condition is tested. First condition is tested. Later on is going to execute the statements. First condition is tested. If the condition is true, then only statements are going to execute. In case of do while, in case of do while construct, the first the statements are going to execute. First the statements are going to execute. Later on we are going to check the conditions. That is the main difference. The one more difference you can say one is while is pre-tested, do while is post-tested looping structure. While is pre-tested looping structure. Take the do while that is a post tested looping structure. That is one more difference. Entry control is do while, so entry control is while and exit control is do while. That is the main difference of while and do while. So, here what we discussed here how to write the general format. How to general, write the general format. Here, do. First, we have to do is a keyword. That is a keyword is required. Do. do means from here to start. Do means from here to here to start. First, statements are executed. Statement 1, statement 2, like that. You can't say how many number of statements are you can write inside the do while. That is based on the program or that is based on the program or we can say that is based on you. You are writing a program, so that is based on the you. So you can write how many number of statements also. N number of statements, that's why I wrote statement here. Statement 1 to statement n. N number of statement you can write. Any statement you can write. Any statement is also possible. Inside the do while you can write the while also that is not issue. Inside the while you can write one more if false. If else, anything which else is possible to write. So any statement you can write. So why is it says also the statement or selection statement also you can write. Inside the conditions, inside the do while you can write one more do while. That is not extra at all. So possible to write n number of statements. Any number of statements will be possible to write. After writing the statement, next we have to check the condition. Then here, how it is working? The first control move inside the looping structure. Control is moving inside the looping structure. Means do. Where do is the from that control is going to inside. Then statements are executed one after another. Like that, statements are executed one after another. There is without any break, all the statements which is given in the inside the loop or do while construct, all the statements are going to execute. After executing the statement, next test condition is checked. Next, control is going to check the test conditions. Next, control is going to check the test condition. After checking the condition, after checking the condition, we will get the true output, either true or false. We will get the true output. Either true or false. Whenever condition is true, whenever the condition is true, means control is moving back. Control is going to move back and 
from where you wrote the code, from that is going to execute on second. So that will be repeated. Whenever condition is true, whenever the condition is true, here see here. After first we'll execute the statements, control is going inside, execute the statement. After executing the statement, control is going to check the test condition. Control is going to check the test condition. If the condition is true, whenever the condition is true, on second control is moving back. Control is going to move back and on second statements are executed. Once again, statements are executed. After executing the statement, once again, test condition is tested. After executing the statement, once again, test condition is tested. If the test condition is true, once again, the statements are going to be executed. So, this will be repeating. This will be repeating until the test condition becomes false. When your test condition is false, control is being out of the So, now, test condition is test first executed, statement executed, test condition is checked. If it is true, once again repeat it. Once again, you go back, execute the statement. After executing the statement, once again, test condition is tested. If it is false, if it is false, means control is moving out from the back, control is moving out from the open structure. This is the general form. After we discuss about the syntax or we get the flowchart. Flowchart is easy to understand. Flowchart because flow is given, how data is flowing, so control, how control is moving, that is given. So easy to understand. So first here, Control starting from here, starting from here, then first statements are executed. N number, here also I know the N number, you don't know what the total number of statements here. Here also you don't execute the N number of statements. N number of statements are executed. After executing the statement, then error is given to condition or branch condition or whatever it is. So that is, so that is going to check or this condition, test condition is going to check. If the condition is true, if you have to, after checking the condition, we will get two output, either true or false. After checking the condition, we will get only two output, either true or false. Whenever the condition is true, whenever the condition is true, once again, control is moving back. Once again, the control is moving back and executing the statements. After control is moving back, arrow is given like this, for understanding two more arrows are here. So, once again, control is moving back and execute the statements. After executing the statement, once again, test condition is tested. First executed, tested. After that, once again, if it is true, once again, execute the statement. So this will be repeated. Until when, when it is finished, whenever test condition becomes false. Whenever the test condition becomes false, at that time, control is moving out from the loop structure. Whenever the test condition is false, can't say. Because sometimes, here in that case, five to four times is repeated, or five times repeated. But some other case, more than that. We can't say that. How many times? It's not a fixed time. Cancel based on the program will be repeated. So that is number of times you will repeat it until the test condition become false. The condition the is going to repeat. See, whenever that sometimes some cases condition is never going to fail. Always condition is true. In that case, it will be repeated and we not without stopping the loop. Without stopping the loop, it will be repeated again and again. Like a clock, it will be repeated again and again and again. So like it is not going to stop. So that is a Condition or in case of do by do by. Condition should be important. After that, we discuss about the one programming example. After that, we discuss about one programming example. Here is not a complete program. Remember, it is not a complete program. And just example I wrote based on the construct. It is not based on some programming language also. I didn't mention that this is a C, C program or C. I didn't mention in programming, but just a construct here. How to how it is working. So first I give the value of m is 0. Then after that do I printed n, then n increment, that is known as incremental. n value each time added by 1. n value each time added by 1. That is normally we are saying increment, incrementing the values. First one, second time two, third time three, four, five, like that. That is incremental. One more term is that is a decrementing. Whenever the value is 5, next time it will be 4, 3, 2, 1, like that. That is actually known as decrement. So that is, you can use that. That is increment or decrement. That you can use. After that, we are going to check the conditions. So how is it executing? First n will be assigned to 0. First n will be assigned to 0. Then execute the statement. Check, check the condition. If the condition is true, once again going back. From where we wrote the do. What not execute n is 0. It is not going to execute n is 0. Well, where we wrote the do. From that is going to repeat. From where we wrote the do. From that is going to repeat. And this step will be repeated until the test condition becomes false. Until the test condition becomes false, the statements are going to repeat again and again. So, by here, we reach the end of session today. In this session, we mainly discussed about the do while looping construct. 
So based on that, I'll give the worksheet, work out the worksheet. But here, I'll wind up my today's session. Thank you.